whatever tradition he casts his eyes on, uh, almost instantly, it would seem, he is able to position uh, the elements in that tradition in a gestalt that throws everything in place. Uh, now, I could continue on this vein a little while. I don't uh, know how long, but uh, shall I go on? Please go a on. A little yeah. more. Um, I remember when I first came upon his work, I'll put this in writing uh, in one place, but let me say it again. I was conducting a student trip around the world, uh, an academic year for students in which we would study um, traditions on site. And uh, the week before uh, we left on this trip, there came across my desk uh, a book called In the Tracks of Buddhism by someone named uh, Frithjof Schuon. Well, you know how it is with uh, travel. Uh, you're, at that time, there was a 44-pound limit, and if you're going to be gone for a year, why, this is uh, a severe selection process. Uh, but at the last moment, almost on impulse, I thrust that book into uh, my suitcase. The reason I did so be was because it had a section titled uh, Shinto, Buddhist, Buddhism's Ally in Japan. And a week hence, I would have to be lecturing to my students on Shinto, a tradition about which I knew very little. Well, it turned out to be the best decision uh, of the year as uh, far as what to take, because in just a few pages, uh, he opened to me the heart of the Shinto tradition in a way in which innumerable books, because I wasn't starting from scratch, had failed again to gestalt the material in its meaningful form. Uh, then, as we proceeded, our next stop uh, was to India, and in a bookstore in Madras, uh, I saw a book, The Language of the Self, again, for Thiel Shuan. Uh, I picked it up, and for the rest of the uh, two and a half months we were there, I walked through India with that book under my arm, uh, and the same experience, uh, opening up. Now, in this case, I had had 10 years of very thorough tutelage in the Vedanta, uh, weekly tutorials with the Swami of the Ramakrishna uh, movement in India. So even less uh, was I a neophyte. And yet, this uh, lifted out, uh, giving a sense of priorities and proportionalities of what was important in a way which made the material uh, live. And then, if you'll believe, a third episode. Uh, this one was in Iran before the Khomeini uh, revolution. And uh, there, Sidi uh, Hossein Nas uh, referred me to the book uh, Understanding Islam, and the same phenomenon occurred there. Uh, and so it has been. I I was uh, I would say metaphysically, if I say law why uh, that might be to, I wasn't in any kind of existential turmoil, but neither uh, in my study in the various traditions uh, had I seen a way to uh, fit them into an encompassing perspective. 
And this is exactly what uh, Shuan uh, did. Uh, very quickly, uh, upon encountering his writing, and it has stayed in place. Maybe I'll just add one more thing. Um, you know, if I say what he means to me, there is a kind of affinity here because uh, my interest being both uh, metaphysical and global uh, turn out to be exactly his. Uh, but what he does is to do exactly the kind of thing that I would like to be doing, only uh, at uh, a level of profundity that I simply do not even aspire to.